I'd really like to just like uh, stop this right now and just like fucking go inside and watch Everybody Loves Raymond, make a grilled cheese sandwich and pass out or something. You know, I don't really need, you know, to do any talking. Still waiting. Let's 802. He said five minutes. So I'll say cool. Well, one of our sponsors is my own piss in a bottle. I often um, have to go pee. And so when I do, I don't want to have to go far. I find a bottle that's nearby. Often it's a bottle like this, brown bottle. Brown bottle company, when, if you guys want to sponsor, reach out. I uh, stopped drinking beer because I couldn't figure out what was piss or what was beer because I have to pee a lot and I don't want to walk too far. Um, so I just started drinking my own pee, storing it in brown bottle. Again, brown bottles are great for storing these kinds of liquids and for having to put them in if you don't want to like go to a toilet. So, but if you can, if you want to drink it, also, you can. And I'm a liberal. And I'm recycle. And I'm green. Kevin Elliott, who's in the text group, the aforementioned text group, he said, take him dim. He doesn't know that I've already conceded the debate. And I am just here to ask questions to learn. I'm going to get dressed up to lose like I probably will because I don't know anything. You got to go into a debate knowing shit, believing shit. I don't know what's right or wrong. I have questions with the people around me, you know, it's like these, are, these aren't fucking politicians or big people. I have my favorite politicians and people who talk about shit. I don't know shit about how everything works, you know? But I debate with my friends in a little text group. So now we're gonna do it on video, you know? Um, me and one of the guys who has a little background, I think he I think he has a little bit of a belief that me and the other guys in the group are fighting against him, are a particular persuasion that's, that is contrary to him and that sees that sees things blindly, you know? We're brainwashed, for lack of a better word, you know? And then he gives, he gives, he gives like sort of slow, what I've called slogans. You know, taxation is, is theft. I'm a capitalist. Um, you know, I'm for control. Uh, just, stuff that 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 are like these are the facts that he's basing shit on and i'm like all right um what about that you know i want to ask questions and it's kind of comes off as a as a fight you know it seems like or he's trying to fight it's not fight to me i just want to uh ask questions of my of a friend of mine so he'll, he'll be here in a few minutes he said um he said that about about four minutes ago, so he should be showing up at any, any time. Uh, maybe no one ever sees this, but but it's gonna go on, uh, you know, a computer. So hope the computer enjoys this. You know? Good piss. Brian came on. Someone came on here. Oh, it's Brian Lane. Brian Lane. Uh, yes, hi, hello, welcome to the show. Uh, nobody knows anything. We got Brian Lane here tonight. Uh, the discussion, uh, social 
capitalism and capitalism. Got some interesting stuff to get into. We are brought to you tonight by uh, Mr. Garbanzo. He gave me some, some hard circles. He told me I could make hummus, but they're rocks. You know, we are brought to you, uh, as you know, by Brown Piss Bottles. We are brought to you tonight by Human Elixir 5000 2500. I'm drinking it here as I record this promo. You can't quite see. Uh, it looks like it's just a sprinkler, but but it's a good supplement for life. So, uh, you know, without further ado, let's get to here with Mr. Lane. Uh, How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. I got dressed. <laughs> I got dressed. Looking like Freddie Mercury, bro. <clears throat> So we're brought by two, two together by Zoom. God bless Zoom. Yeah, yeah. All those people could sponsor me and Brian and give us money to our patrons. You can find us at twitr.com. I don't have a Patreon. I uh, I don't uh, I don't feel like I have uh, enough to say for people to want to give me money uh, mm -hmm. for what I have to say. Me neither, man. <laughs> but can I, can I, since I asked for this, because I was kind of the one who asked for it, could I, I'll start out, can I just say, okay. ask a question of um, how I feel, because we're in the text group, and mm -hmm. sometimes I feel yeah. like the way that the text group uh, <laughs> operate has, has shown me this. It seems like you think, you think that I'm a little brainwashed and I have a, pr a particular perspective and it feels like you think that I think you're equally brainwashed because you're conservative. So that means you must be a racist, you know? <laughs> and when we're combating a lot of times, I feel like we have the, you know, we'll ask questions of each other. We might not answer them. We would just answer each other with like slogans. And sometimes I've said, you ask me, why do I say you're saying a slogans or something? Mm -hmm. you know? And sometimes I said, well, because sometimes I feel like I got one, like taxation is theft, you know? That was Kevin. I thought you said that. Oh, you mean that was Kevin? Okay. <laughs> no, or just no. like, if, uh, it feels like if you, you see me as a- I, I, I would, you know, that, it's not a, a slogan that I necessarily like disagree with. Right. So, um, sorry, go ahead. Well, do you have a, a declarative, like, uh, because one thing I think sometimes, a lot of times, I don't really know anything. And I'm trying to, ask, that's why I'm saying, like, I, I don't know if this is so much as bait, it's just me asking questions. But do, okay. you, do you have a declarative about, like, I am a this? I know you've said, I'm a capitalist, you know? But Yeah, I mean, that's that might be slightly antagonistic on my part, too. Um, but I, if capitalism is, I want to... I want to own the fruits of my labor. Get the charger. Can you? Yeah. It keeps on uh, jumping back and forth from Fergus to Kev. Um, I can't see. I can't see you anymore. I mean, I don't see Fergus. I, it's jumping back from Kevin to. I don't Drew. see. I don't see Bill. Can you hear me? If you say speaker view, it will just be who's ever talking. You know. Oh. I think. Um. But yeah, I guess. When it comes to when it comes to like capitalism as a philosophy, um, I feel like it is in line with my with what I perceive to be like morally right. You know that that you work that you work and somebody like pays you for your work, so you should uh, be able to keep that. Um, yeah, and I understand like we need to tax for certain things. You know, we need mil military, we need police, we need, um, you know, we need sewer systems. But uh, I feel like the less taxation we le less less taxation is a uh, is a benefit to me. Yeah. No, and, and I understand that because of, of you're you're seeing it as a taking of your wealth, right? And prob that's problematic, you know, uh, uh, for you. Right. I mean, uh, I think that 
I think that people are fairly benevolent and that they, they want to help people. Um, and that if they rely on government to help people, then they kind of maybe just take a back seat to, to helping people that are like, Oh, there's somebody else taking care of that. Like, uh, right. Uh, yeah, so some people say right now, like, there, well, there's a thing about uh, a lot of taxes that we have, some of them going to, like, pharmaceutical companies being able to test drugs, right? Mm -hmm. And then they're mm -hmm. able to test drugs on people and gain a bunch of knowledge and build new drugs. And then they sell these drugs at, like, rates that are, like, super high. And sometimes right. maybe they use those drugs to live. And mm -hmm. some of the benefit of them knowing how to use those drugs came from, like, taxpayers' money. And then... Mm -hmm. Those, those people uh, cannot access, or some people cannot access those drugs. And then in, for me, like a social democracy, like the idea of what that is, is that some politicians are able to advocate for that, speak out about that and say, hey, like, this is whack. We should have right. some kind of a arbitra arbitrator against that, which is essentially like, you know, free market, right? Like, oh, well, if you do, if you get Right, it, right. Yeah, you know, that's like crony capitalism, right? That's... Uh... That's a, a perverse a perversion of capitalism. Right. Right. So why is, and, is yeah. it a perversion because like someone's coming in and and why is it why is it perversion? Because it's it's um your your um other certain groups are being helped. Um, it should it should be like a, an equal standing, right? The government shouldn't be helping these medical people to like prop them up. Uh, you know, we shouldn't be. I mean, I don't know like all the details of the the bank bailouts, but like that seemed to be like pretty like uh, perverse. Like um, when I think of the definition of like fascism, right? It's like the government propping up certain. Um, certain companies that that are good for the state um and uh, yeah fascism is like a, a perversion of capitalism maybe you maybe you think it's like the the natural outcome of capitalism though well i think that if you're going to um I think that like capitalism, like on its basic, like fundamental, like values, right? Is like, yeah, like we've got like private property, like we need to own uh, our ability to produce stuff. And uh, if anything infringes upon that, like it's bad, no matter if our ability to inherit wealth or grow a profit is problematic to like groups of people at large or, you know what I mean? Uh, sorry, I'm not following you, my <laughs> battery's dying. Uh, my, my, thing, my thing is like I understand <laughs> capitalism as being uh, a, 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 a saying you know I'm a I'm a player in the free market and like every all of my all of my earnings and everything that I do to gain profit is is sort of free like no matter if it like affects a bunch of a bunch of people you know no okay. matter and sometimes I hear like the argument against like socialism being like hey you know we we've seen like the ussr we've seen these authoritarian governments that have done terrible things you know and that's affected people it's negative it's bad but i'm like well hasn't like like profit driven government like capitalistic driven private property driven government also create a lot of death and murder and terror you know right right um see i kind of i feel like they're both controlling their um that socialism is you know it's the same sort of like top-down control um we we're gonna like make sure like certain certain people succeed um we're gonna like prop up certain businesses and uh the same with the same with like capitalism that's run amok um it's funny like you always hear like from socialists like oh we've never we've never seen like pure socialism we've never seen pure marxism well, but i'm like well we haven't seen like pure capitalism maybe um so it's kind of uh maybe ironic that i'm i'm, I'm spouting that uh 
but is pure capitalism like any different than like like sort of uh you know the post sort of cap like god what's the fucking name but you know it's like fucking uh Sir, you know, there's serfs and there's these people who've owned land for hundreds of years and it's like it's just in the family and it's like it's kind of like the the pre-individualistic capitalism there's a name for it feudalism feudalism like isn't feudalism on some level maybe then refined capitalism if it's you know th th there's less individual liberty because these people have inherited like right to land and owning people for for hundreds of years or whatever it is right like mm -hmm. like like uh but you know that to me almost sounds like a more like concentrated form of capitalism because in the capitalistic society that we have today at least in the united states there's some control right against against acquisition of wealth that like negatively infects people not as much as like sweden or denmark or or all this stuff you know or france or germany but <laughs> man, uh... my I want, I, I, okay, let's just go back. I feel like we both have, if we could agree on shit, we could agree that the government as it is now, is doing whack shit. Like we don't think it's, it's working right. Right, right. I think you think it's too big, right? You have like an idea that maybe that the, there's too much going on, you know, too much uh, of a government intrusion. Well, like the, the example that you brought up about like the, the pharmaceutical industry like i think that that's not a good thing you know uh what, what you drinking there piss nice beer you know yeah i did a whole th <laughs> when i was talking by myself to the camera i was, did this whole thing about how we're sponsored by brown bottles which is just hold to hold my pee <laughs> i stopped drinking beer because i can't tell which bottle is piss or beer anymore so i just yeah. piss, you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> Fuck That's yeah, Drew. Fuck yeah, <laughs> motherfucker. Don't drink that fucking shit. Where's your beer? Huh? What are you drinking there, Lane? Tea. Uh, I got some some uh, turmeric chai. Conservatism there. <laughs> Exhibit A. Tea cups versus fucking piss and beer. <laughs> right on, man. <laughs> Right on, y'all. Is that a real problematic thing within, like, I mean, obviously within, like, social media dialogue and stuff, people, like, because I know, I think, Brian, if I could speak for you for one second, you think, <laughs> like, okay, like, if I have any, if I espouse conservative beliefs, then, I, then I'll be seen as, like, racist, right? Or something, it's bad. Is that, you feel like that's, like, a real, is that, is that a real thing in society? It's like, we cannot have these certain beliefs that they're, you know, it's almost like a free speech thing to me, right? Where it's like, oh, the, you know, these are the, there's some truth that is not allowed to be spoken, you know, because of PC culture or something, you know? Yeah, I mean, like, I think if you, if you say you're conservative, then, you know, all of these words come up in people's minds, like, oh, you're a Trump supporter, you, you don't like gay marriage, you want to, um, <laughs> You want to like outlaw drugs and uh, you hate Mexicans and um, there's just like, I don't know, like, and <clears throat> this could be like largely built up in my mind, but um, I feel like there is a sort of like, it is sort of like a dirty work, uh, conservatism. No. Um, but yeah, I think that uh, I don't know. I was thinking about this. Tell me what. You, tell me what you think about this idea. Um, that conservatives are largely, um, you know, they care a lot about like racist, pers racist. <laughs> personal yeah. responsibility, and uh, you know, like you, you have the power to to create something of yourself, right? And uh, liberals it's much more about compassion um it's like we can all help each other lift each other up and like that's how we're gonna like succeed it's like we have to help each other and conservatives it's more like of this like individual um sort of like you can you can do it uh, but then but then like conservatives are very like centered on the family 
right? Like the family is the sort of communal unit. And then, um, you know, the, the sort of like your responsibility to other people isn't as, um, it, it may not be like as stringent uh, to like the masses as it is in liberalism maybe. Does that, does that make sense? I think so, but is, do you think, is there a play, like, uh, is everyone, if we're talking about, you know, like personal sort of, like, you know, the gumption of people doing stuff on their own, uh, uh, is there any account of, account of people being at different spots in society, in reality, you know? Right, right. I mean, like, if we have a we government don't, big and we don't doing have to get into, like, um, how it, how it could be harder for a young black man um, raised in like inner city Chicago. Like it's, it's obviously going to be harder for him. Like um, we can, we can go like, you know, like a person with, with autism or something like, and. If, I think uh, what about, a, uh, uh, cause I know, and here's the thing, this is maybe, this might be something, a trans, what about a transgender person? Now, some people, right, will say, mm -hmm. these folks, I know a thing about um, biology or something, gender, I've got a, a, an idea. And these folks are wrong on, in, in some respect in the sense that they might be ill. That, that, that there's something not right about the way that they're perceiving things, you know? But then we'll have like data that says that there's something about social stigma that contributes to like LBGTQ, transgender being one, right? Like suicide. Um, uh -huh. uh, what about like uh, talking? Yeah, I... what, what, about, what about talking about that becoming something that's more accepted within a culture or being taught to children or being something that is discussed is, is, pro, you know, is problematic, you know? Um. I mean, I don't think, I don't, personally, I don't think it's transgender people are a problem. No. Um, I think that the, the issue comes up when uh, we try, we, we have to like accommodate, accommodate them more than, than other people in society. It's like, we're already like recognizing you as an individual. It's like, we, we care about you, we care about your life, but we don't, I don't know, we don't need to like, uh, we don't need to legislate against like mis mispronouncing someone or, uh, it, or they're allowed to, uh, you know, a transgender uh, woman is allowed to compete in women's uh, sports. Um, I think that that's, that's a bit too far in my- I think that the sports thing, I don't know about sports because I don't fucking care about sports. But, uh, but the thing about that, like that's like, yeah, like have that discussion, figure out what you want as far as sports are concerned. But like the, the Canadian bill thing, like the civil rights bill thing, it wasn't even like, we're looking to go out there and police people who want to exercise their free speech and don't use these pronouns. It was just saying like, hey. But we they, actually are, they actually are doing that though. Like people are, like the law is coming down on people that are misgendering people. You that, is, that is happening. So you feel like there are the innocent people that were out there that were just like walking around and accidentally said, hey, sir, and it was a woman and now they're like being held accountable for a fine and they're, or they're in jail because they accidentally referred to, you think that there are these like sort of aggressive people. It, that, it's a, that, that, that the bigger problem is people uh, aggressively attacking people who might misgender people by accident and to try to take away their liberty as opposed to the fact that there is a huge suicide rate amongst transgender people based on from what uh, uh, some science have said is um, social stigma. And the fact that, that this bill so like, the rights do I, do I have the right do I have the right to sue you if you call me ma'am? What what do you mean? Because I identify as a man. So do yeah, but there's 
But there's no, say, but there's no evidence that? from like lawyers or the bar association or from all of these different people that are like involved in the law in Canada, you know, that like that actually has affected anyone in the negative, anyone, you know, that there's anyone out there who's like trying to police people accidentally, you know, using, you know what I mean? Like maybe, maybe, maybe if someone's out there and they're like, you know, I'm so upset about the fact that people are changing pronouns then I'm gonna go beat someone up and I beat that person up and then I, you know, maybe they happen to be a transgender person, I scream at them the wrong gender, you know, maybe then it's something that's taken into account based on the civil rights legislation that was before in Canada, you know? But it's not like people are going out looking for people who are accidentally, you know, maybe like an old lady who looks like a man because her hair's cut too short, you know? I, you know what I mean? Like, I, hey, old, old man, like, I don't know, but you know, I, I, that's not really happening or it's not reported to have been happening. You know what I mean? And that's why I think it's interesting to bring up as a, a front to free speech. When it seems like why that all that happened was to kind of preserve liberty of these individuals, individual liberty in a way, you know? Which seems, uh, which seems sort of conser classical liberal conservative, because classical liberal is conservatism, you know? If, you, if, you're, not, if you're not gonna prosecute people for mis- gendering people then why do you need the law what do you mean if if this if it's just to to re-emphasize that people shouldn't go around like committing violence upon people right because they're transgender right then why do you need a law that polices people's speech which is explicitly what the law is about Right, well, I feel like there is an aspect of the law that could be about policing speech if there are crimes that are committed. It's the same way that like civil rights laws had been put into place before about people committing crimes against any different kind of minority that was such gay. Like at like, you, yeah. know, I mean, pro, right? you know what I mean? The whole civil I, rights code in the United States is like different shit that's like, you can't sexually harass women because there's this history of shit going on. Or there's a, you know. Yeah, it seems like a slippery slope, dude. In my, in in protection against a group of people that has historically been marginalized or perhaps suppressed to put in a protection within government is too much control because that might be a slippery slope once you start policing what people say it yeah it seems like a slippery slope to me that it can be abused and so, I, if we have if we already have laws the Klux Klan protecting, protecting the people's physicality yeah then I don't, I don't feel like it's necessary. So the Ku Klux Klan law that was like, there was you know, the legislation that was put into place because the Ku Klux Klan was terrorizing communities, you know. They were actually like physically assaulting people though, yeah? They were, they were harming people, you know. There's also a suicide rate that is connected to different communities that we know is based on social stigma, you know. So it seems sort of relevant to me, unless you really want to go out of your way to hurt these people, that this, this legislation this, this, is not a problem. The black, the black suicide rate is, Pretty much. I went back to transgender for a second because I was using it as a sort of. Uh huh. Well, I I'd, I'd like to be able to like break down how much it's societal influence and how much it's what's just going on um, <clears throat> within the tumultuous like a brain of these people. Like, if well, yeah, if, you can read those. There, there is scientific. You know, there's research done that is like there is. And I mean, regard. You know, you have to have an opinion about can, what people are going to quantify, like how much of an influence, like these suicidal thoughts, how much. Well, here's the thing about the thing that I had that that I had read about this. It's like it didn't come in deciding that the folks were all mentally ill, you know. So it was like, hey, there's a community that's identifiable. It's happening. It's been happening for a really long time, and we're just trying to study you know, how they operate in society and how they exist. And that, hey, there's a suicide rate that's affected by social stigma, where there's like people getting murdered within that community at a high rate, like even this year, you know? Like it's, there are advocates in that community, within that community that are like, hey, this is fucked up. And so I'm saying like, are those advocates just out there like advocating uh, for awareness and being proud of that Canadian bill because they are victims of some weird, you, they like the likes of PC culture, you know, or, or are they real, you know, are they, do they feel, you know, you know what I mean? Like, I know you're not well, in the community, so I'm saying, are they all fake or are they? 
No, I'm, I'm sure that they're coming, I'm sure they're from a place of compassion, you know, that, that, that they think that that is what's best for that community. Yeah. Um, I just don't, I'm not sure that that's the best way to go about erasing the social stigma. Right. Um, you know, it seems a little. Now, let's little go back. Let's shift then. Let's talk about poverty in this country. Taxes are bad, right? Many of our taxes go to welfare, social security, defense. I think that that's sort of like the bulk of every of everything, right? But you don't like you don't uh, like your ta- that the amount of taxes that have been taken from you have been taken, you know. Right. Um yeah, and you, you're always bringing up the argument that, like, how many billions of dollars are spent on uh, defense mm-hmm. um, and how that's, like, a how if we just take a few billion, billion dollars from that and, like, use that, like, within our community. Um, and I, I, I don't necessarily uh, disagree with that. Um, what about this, though? What about we've had a decreasing marginal tax rate on the highest percent of earners? since the just since like i think maybe fdr where he increased like the marginal tax rate there were times where it went up and down right and if you look at the gross domestic product and like the economy in general when we had a high marginal tax rate on the highest percentage of earners Mm -hmm. it was always a a, a productive you know and we've got like bernie aoc all these folks saying hey if we just increase this high marginal tax rate to a Point that was previously historically a precedent we you know we can fund shit where it's like now maybe we could help flint or i don't know and that's a weird thing but just the poverty that's specific and that's probably not what they're meaning like we'll help flint but you know the poor people in the country the people that need health care all this stuff that needs some kind of attention you know uh-huh. you don't think it's it should be the, it, the government or anyone's responsibility right but 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 that's the thing that bernie is saying is like hey let's go back right and increase these marginal tax rates use some of that money for health care use some of that uh-huh. money for for these services with social services right and okay. that's democracy is a lot of people are down for like single-payer health care a lot of people are down for say college being paid for right all these people and these are like social socialistic things right you know um and then social democracy for, that's that's my thing is like i think I, I don't really know what i am but i think i like social democracy because i'm saying socialism says oh all of the the product of society all of the means of the production should be just within the people you know the, the common man you know and i'm right. like oh, then it, sounds- it ends up being controlled by a small group of people and they it becomes, decide it becomes it authoritarian is. right right and that, that seems historically like a precedent <coughs> to me. And so it sounds like a pipe dream. So to like libertarian saying, well, we just have to, or anarchy, or anarcho, 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 anarcho capitalist. Anarcho capitalist, there's also a socialist anarchy and they're all, they're all sound like these pipe dreams to me, you know? And that's why I'm like, I like social democracy because it feels like the tenets of like, hey, let's make the society at large as it is right now, try to function for everyone as best uh-huh. as possible, you know? And we right. have seen like major corporations or people who have high concentrations of wealth profiting off of other people being sick. Like it's just, it's there or being disadvantaged, you know? It's uh-huh. real. So to me, social democracy says, we're trying to identify that stuff like, and then work that into like the democratic like advocacy of these different politicians and try to, you know, we're talking about the border crisis because not because the border crisis is just this black and white, like liberals care about people outside the country and conservatives only care about the politicians because there's humanitarian crisis shit going on over there, you know? Okay. Like, deaths have happened uh, recently than have ever happened like in the last decade at the border because like weird you know weird shit's going on and I think politics affects it you know like left right politics but I, I don't think like the crux of why all these issues are important right now is just because people can't see that each other are both kind of right in a way I think there's real wrong shit going on you know and I think uh, democracy is a way to challenge that stuff you know Okay. That in reality, being a weird, a real thing, and it seems like it's happening within the Congress of the of the country, you know. 
Right. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you can, you can battle those, those crimes of capitalism, like uh, pharmaceutical industries making just like making crazy amounts of wealth off of these drugs without raising the the taxes on anybody um so was it bad to like then raise the taxes to a point that were previous that were it was previously higher like okay so if historically the marginal tax rate for like these corporations and extremely wealthy individuals was much higher historically and then be yeah, was it like 90 percent or something at certain times right and then be through at their advocacy to decrease that like which i guess is their right right like we could say because you know yeah i'm gonna is it still like a progressive uh tax rate like the top the top uh, earners are supposed to be taxed at like 70 percent or 60 percent or something like this For what isn't it still like a progressive tax like it gets incrementally higher as you as you earn more money like it's at 60 or 70 percent for the highest earners uh -oh. right yeah, it is. I just said, they just, I got a note that said it will end in 10 minutes. You're right. It is progressive. It is progressive, but it's much less so for the highest earn, like the, okay, the, it is progressive, but the tax rate that like the median income people, like the mid to low people have been taxed has relatively been the same. But the thing that has gone up and down is like these super, super high earners. And there are times when the high earners were taxed more marginally that it seemed like the economy at large was better based on GDP and all this stuff, you know? Okay. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not familiar with those numbers. So that's, uh, the, that's the argument to bringing this tax rate back up because uh, in the same way that like banking deregulation, like, you know, a lot of people complain about, or like the housing market being deregulated, people complain about because then it allowed people who were able to sort of become profit interested at the expense of, the people that were engaging into the market because there was less regulation, they could take advantage of people at large, you know? And so the regulation was there to, it is there to protect people when it, you know, and there's been less regulation and less taxation of like these high earners and of corporations, you know, and a lot okay. of social democratic or progressive candidates are like advocating like, Hey, let's, let's, let's try to change that, reverse that. And then they're winning votes, you know? Okay. So is that, are so, you, you know? So is, is the only issue though, that they're making more money? Like they're making like billions, trillions of dollars, right? And is the, the only crime there that they're making so much money? Uh, no, like or, one instance we'll say is like within Flint, Michigan, for instance, okay. right? the uh the the water in flint that was was publicly accessible or whatever was shifted right they they shifted the water to a river like a public river in flint michigan instead of just like water that was accessed before and this water in the river was very poisonous and problematic and um it affected because there were car companies there it affected the processing of the equipment to make the engines for like ford and chevy because they had car processing plants there and so Ford and Chevy were able to lobby to switch the water in Flint that they used to like wash their parts back to the original water supply, which wasn't contaminated, you know? Yet the people of Flint still suffer from having this contaminated water. Who, right. So like, like, people advocate for them, but the people who had more money, who had the car industry, the people who had all this shit, they could protect the cars and their products. But lives... Right are still unprotected, you know? And so to me, there's a discrepancy there. And that's why I like government being powerful enough to arbitrate against private industry, because I know that we live in a world that is capitalist. I'm not saying we have to, I'm not dreaming for a utopia where every, you know, it's, but I like unions and I, and I want there to be regulations that are voted for and that are democratically, you know, I like social democracy, you know? I want there to be help and all this stuff, you know? Do you think um, in like the age of the internet and social media where we're like all so connected that um, companies are maybe becoming a little bit more altruistic because they're being called out for these crimes and um, 
that, you know, like, I don't think anybody supports runaway, like, companies, like, doing, like, committing these kind of crimes on the people. Um, but it's like, can, can we not, I, see, this, I think this is the argument we come, keep coming back to, is like, we can control um, companies that are running amok without um, redistributing wealth. Um, I kind of made like two points there. But, what are uh, your, like, uh, I wonder what those solutions are. Cause when I look at the field right now of like people who are running or people to vote for what's going on within people who are representing people in the country, it feels like most of the people that are advocating for change that will actually affect people and help people, you know, are, are on the left are maybe socially democratic, maybe progressive even, you know, mm -hmm. and I think that a great redistribution of the power in this country and perhaps a great shift in how, you know, uh, wealth flows could, it, it could help, could be, could be changed and could be benefit more people at large. Like, that's my point. Like, I'm not trying to steal from anyone, you know, but when I see that there's companies who are getting taxed nothing and are making all this money off of people who are getting taxed a bunch of shit like you and you don't like it, um, I wonder, and then when I look at the history of how those same companies have lobbied and advocated to lower their own taxes at the expense of like the working folk and all of this, it makes me excited about politicians who have also looked at that same stuff and are saying, that's not cool. And we're gonna start advocating for shit like that, that does exist in the world, like if healthcare and education and all this stuff. If we're corporations are people- country in the world and we can't have that? If corporations are people, then they should be taxed like me, you know, like a person. Sure. Um, they shouldn't be. I, I mean, I understand that they are creating jobs. You know, they're like, um, they're supplying a, a livelihood to a large amount of people. And maybe, you know, like when Amazon was going to move into Brooklyn or whatever, they're like, we're going to give you all these tax breaks because you're providing so many thousands of jobs. Um, and I, I understand the, the sort of logic behind that. Um, but uh, maybe, well, maybe it doesn't need to be they were stopped. They were stopped largely because people were upset about the working conditions within Amazon writ large within the country, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's funny because they have instituted the $15 minimum wage that like liberals are so stoked on, right? They have. Jeff uh, Bezos, right? Yeah. And Bernie congratulated him for that. And that's all dope, you know? And uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, like they're on, on there's this, what, tweet, tweeter? <laughs> what, what, <laughs> website, people talk or whatever, you know? <laughs> you, are you on the Twitter, dude? Yes, sir. You can follow me if you go to, to TWITER.com. <laughs> that's not a it's not an easy one to, to remember there, Drew. Instaface too. Instant <laughs> face log. <laughs> dot dot uh, org, you know? Uh, I don't know anything though. That's the thing. I don't fucking know anything. We should probably do more of this because it was good. It turned out better because in my head, I was just going to own everyone, even like Jeff <laughs> and Take Chris. him down. Take him Take down. Him down. Take him down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fuck we should, yeah. We should, do, yeah, um, we should do more of it and, uh, and uh, maybe it could become edited into a thing. I just want to make, uh, hey, let's talk capitalism. <laughs> How much time we got left? Let's talk trying, about Trying to make some money, dude. Trying to make, <laughs> trying to make some moodly moo, you know? <laughs> content. Content is king. And I don't, <laughs> content is also queen because <laughs> I don't, the patriarchy content is a fucking. for me. No, hey. <laughs> uh, equal rights. Content is queen. Content is king. Content is Z <laughs> to Z, you know? Um, I'm, I'm on a left, I get an abortion every day. I fuck, you know, I listen, uh, guys I'm trying to wrap this up, but I want all the people, this is on Facebook live right now, but everybody's been watching. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> is that problematic? 
Don't worry. Only in my mind. Like I don't think I pushed the button. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we That's, need a uh, more focused topic because I thought we were going to talk about like, you know, I'm a control. I want for me everything is on fire, and I want to control everyone. And for you, everyone is going to be okay as long as they, you know clean their room you know what i mean like um that's what i thought we would next time we should maybe you know because you made the flyer brian yeah yeah that i want to control everyone because the world's on i'm like the dog i'm the dog sitting there at the table you see me as the dog i'm eating the thing i'm drinking my beer smoking my weed and everything's fine or no everything's burning down but i what is that a meme? I don't even know what that even means. Like some, uh, something about me thinking transgender is okay and taxes are, are bad and there's fire.